What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Audacity from start to finish. You're going to learn how to use the interface, how to record and edit your audio, and then finally I'll be showing you some ways to make the audio sound better for your YouTube videos. Now if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And with that being said, let's get started. So we're just going to jump right into the interface and along the top you have the main menu and right underneath you have the pause button, the play button, the stop button, the go to the start, go to the end button, and then finally your record button, which you're going to be using a lot when you're in Audacity. Now right beside that you're going to have the playback as well as the microphone monitor. So you're going to be able to see how loud your microphone is. And so what you can do is you can click on it and you can use it to see if your microphone is either too quiet or if it's too loud. <laughs> and then we're just going to disable that for now. Over here, you're going to actually be able to change the inputs and the outputs. So with the recording volume, you can choose how loud you want your microphone to be when you're recording. And of course, you should play around with this and see what's best for your microphone and then monitor it over here. And then you can also change the playback volume. So when you play it back, how loud you want it to be. And right underneath what you can do is you can set up your inputs and your outputs. So we're going to keep the input on Windows Direct Sound. And then over here beside the microphone, you're going to choose which microphone you wanna use. So I'm going to be recording with my Blue Yeti stereo microphone, but you can select yours. And then here you can choose if you want it to be mono. So one track or stereo, two tracks, one for the left side, one for the right side. I'm recording in mono. And then for the output, I'm just going to choose my laptop speakers because I don't have any external speakers plugged in. But if you did, you can choose them over here. And that's pretty much how you use the interface. I'm going to be going over this bar and these tools right after we start recording. Now to record your audio, all you wanna do is press on the record button. And as you can see, the audio is now recording. And if I wanted to stop it, I can just press on the stop button. And to play it back, you can just record button. And click on the play button like so, or you can click anywhere on the track to select where you want to play from and then click the play button again. Now, if I wanted to make this track louder or change where which channel it's coming from predominantly, if it was a stereo track, I could use this top bar to change the gain and then use this bottom bar to change the uh, channel distribution. And if I wanted to record more audio, I can just click at the end of this track click the record button, and as you can see, it'll continue recording the audio on the same track. So if I wanted to make a bunch of different clips and put them together into one commentary, for example, this is how I would do so. And then we're just going to stop that. And that's basically how you record audio in Audacity. Now you can also modify these tracks. So say over here, I stuttered or I said something that I didn't wanna say, I could just highlight it and then press the delete key and it automatically deletes that component of the audio track. Now, say for some reason I wanted to have both tracks play at the same time, I could actually have multiple tracks and I can go to tracks, add new and add another mono track. And then I can use these tools over here to edit the audio, which we're going to jump into next. So right now we have this selection tool selected. So our cursor, it is used to select audio, but if you wanted to move the tracks, we would use the time shift tool. And so if we clicked on the time shift tool, we can see our cursors changed. And now we can move any of these tracks like we'd want to, and we could switch them around or even move them to another track. So if for any reason we wanted to play these at the same time, we could do so by using the time shift tool. Now we also have a zoom tool, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's used for zooming in, or you can press control and move your mouse scroll wheel. It does the same thing. We also have the envelope tool. So if you wanted to lower the audio at certain points, you can accomplish just that. And then we have the draw tool and the multi-tool. So the multi-tool just lets you do all of these things at the exact same time. Now moving along to the top bar over here, we have a bunch of other things we can do with our audio. So we can highlight the audio and if we wanted to cut it, we could either press control X or press this cut tool and then we can paste it by pressing this paste button over here or by pressing control V and they accomplish the same thing. And then we can highlight the audio and we can also copy with this button over here or we can press control C. Now we can also highlight certain audio that we wanna keep. 
and then we can press on this button and it'll trim everything else. So as you can see, it trimmed everything else for that track. And then we can also delete this track and we'd be left with just this audio. So this is a really fast way to just highlight what you wanna keep in a certain track and then get rid of everything else. And then this tool over here is the exact opposite. If I wanted to silence something, I would select it and then I would click on the silence button and it would just mute it. So that's very, very helpful. Now we also have the undo and redo buttons as well as a zoom in and zoom out button. So there's lots of ways that you can zoom. And then this over here is your fit selection to width button. So say that we have a really long recording and we're all the way zoomed out, but we want to only focus on this component of the track. We can highlight it and press this button and it takes up the entire width of the interface. So that's how you basically work with Audacity and use all of these basic tools to modify the audio. Now we're going to go into the more in-depth effects you can use to actually make your audio sound better. And so when you're going to be actually applying effects, you wanna select the audio that you wanna apply the effect to by highlighting it. Or what you can do is press Control A and that selects everything. And then you're going to go into effect and there's a bunch of different effects we can add. We could change the pitch, the speed, the tempo. If your audio is too quiet, for example, you can click on amplify and then you can amplify it by however many decibels you want. We're going to allow clipping and we're going to click on okay. And as you can see, the, the audio is now much louder. Now, if you're a YouTuber who has a poor quality mic, the best ways that you can make your audio sound better is to first of all, amplify it if it's too quiet, but second and third, you want to normalize the audio so it's not too volatile. And then you also want to remove the noise. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to remove the noise in Audacity. So when you are removing the noise, the way it basically works is Audacity will listen to what your noise sounds like. And then once it knows what your noise sounds like, it'll make sure to remove it for the entire audio clip. So the first thing we wanna do is actually record the noise where you have a few seconds of just the background noise actually being recorded. So I'm going to do that very quickly right now. So this is my noise. This is what you know my room sounds like with this microphone. And then I would go to effect, go to noise reduction and get the noise profile. So Audacity knows what this noise sounds like. And then I can highlight everything, go to effect, go to noise reduction, and then click on okay with these settings. And as you can see, whatever noise was here, it was removed and it was applied to the entire audio track. I can now highlight this and delete it because I don't need it anymore. And the second thing you can also do is you can select everything by pressing control A, go to effect, go to normalize, and then click on okay. And it's going to normalize the audio. So some parts aren't too quiet or too loud. And then finally, once you're happy with your audio track, all you wanna do is save it and export it. So if you plan to work on it later and wanna have this file saved so you can use it in Audacity, you're just going to go to file and then you're going to go to save project as. This isn't going to be a file you can put into your YouTube videos because it's an Audacity project, but this will basically allow you to access it later in Audacity so you can edit it. And then once you're done saving it and you wanna export it and use it in your video editor or for your movies, you go to file, you go to export, and then the two most popular ways to export your audio are as an MP3 or as a WAV. So we're going to export it as a WAV and then we're going to just save it as the Audacity test and then we can click on save and now it's going to save this audio. We're going to click on OK because we don't want to add a record label or anything. We're fine with just the file name. So those are all the basics and hopefully you guys did learn a thing or two from this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.